Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I am actually in my hometown. I have been for about a week. I'm from Central Florida for those of you that don't know. And Xavian right now is in Virginia visiting a couple of close friends. Um, I really wanted to go on the trip with him and he really wanted me to go but he drove and 12 hours in a car with a three month old and an almost two year old. And it just, the whole trip would have been a lot of work for me. So I was like, you go, enjoy time with your best friend. And I would just come home to my mom's house for a week. And yeah, so we miss him and he's actually coming back tomorrow night. And we're heading back to Georgia um, Sunday. So by the time you guys see this, we'll have already been back for a few days. But yep, I'm here at my mom's house and it's kind of bittersweet um, being here because we have a lot of changes going on on my family's property right now. Um, for those of you that don't know, my gammy, my grandma passed away in March of this year and we were very close. I lived next to her and my pop-up for most of my life. Um, my pop-up passed away in 2012, so, and they were married for 56 years, I think, 55 years, 56, somewhere around there. Um, they were married so I'm happy that they're finally reunited in heaven um, my grandma was a very godly woman so I know that she is home and at peace and that gives me peace but we miss her so much and um, they bought this property in the 70s after my grandpa retired from the Navy it's about 10 acres my uncle owns two of those acres in the back and growing up it was him and my aunt and my cousins uh, my mom, my sisters, I had another uncle that lived next door for a while, my grandparents. There was just a lot of us on these 10 acres and I had the most, uh, the best memories of my childhood on this property. And unfortunately, the house that my grandparents built in the 70s is being torn down um, this week that you guys are seeing this actually it's being torn down Wednesday and Thursday so the day this video goes out um, is when demolition is starting it's really sad but it's kind of necessary the house is in really bad shape and in order to save it it would basically need a, a complete remodel anyway um, the layout has just never been that ideal and um, yeah it, it's just what makes the most sense and I know that and I accept it but I'm actually really glad that I won't be here to see it be torn down because I think I would just completely lose it because even though this house that I'm sitting in is the house that I pretty much grew up in for most of my life um, I'm not that attached to it and that might sound weird but I had a good childhood but there were some not so good times and a lot of those not so good times unfortunately took place in this house and I think for that reason I'm just not as attached to it. My grandparents house which is right next door right outside that door or that window nothing but good memories like the best memories. Christmas mornings, uh, Christmas Eve, Thanksgiving, um, basically most days I was over there at least at some point um, just countless memories I, I can't even think of all of them because I spent most days over there um, at my grandparents house and it's really sad to see uh, this chapter close and our family's property will be put up for sale um, probably within the next year, if not the next two years. It's it's just time. I'm, I won't go into all the details because it's my family's business, but it's time. Um, I wish that me and Xavian could buy this property, but he's going to be active duty in the military for the next like 12 or 13 years or longer if he goes past 20 years. So it's just not something we can do right now. And I don't expect my family to hold on to it and wait for us to be able to because nobody's getting any younger and everyone wants to be doing different things so it is going to be sold and it kind of sucks it, it really sucks it doesn't kind of suck it really sucks and it makes me very sad and I know it's going to be emotional times um, for me especially 
in the upcoming years. I just rambled for five minutes straight <laughs> about uh, my family's property, but that's that's what's been on my mind. Um, my aunt and uncle are actually having an, like an estate sale at my grandma's house right now. We went through a whole of, you know, the whole house, like all of my cousins, my sisters, my mom, my uncle, everyone has gone through the house like a bunch of times and we were welcome to take whatever we wanted, but I mean, it's a house full of stuff and we always only have so much room in our own homes. Um, so a lot of it, you know, we've divided among us. A lot of sentimental things are definitely staying, but a lot of like just things that aren't sentimental, like the silverware and the pots and pans and, you know, just random paperback books and stuff like that. Um, we are either donating or selling at the garage sale that they're having today. Um, before it's torn down so here comes little miss baby shark <laughs> gonna have to turn that off before I get copyrighted I turned down baby shark so somebody is not pleased with me right now but yeah I don't really have a lot to vlog um, other than me just updating you guys Woo, lighting change journey has been asleep for like an hour and a half it's I actually probably need to wake her up it's almost 10 30 um, She's been like reverting back to newborn sleep um, as far as at night and it's probably the four month sleep regression starting um, for a few days there she was like sleeping terribly at night and then a couple more days she was doing good again and now over the last few days she's been waking up like five six times a night um, not crying but she's just awake just awake and talking almost every time she wants to nurse back to sleep which I do um, I don't mind doing that and she'll nurse for a few minutes and then go back to sleep for like an hour, hour and a half, sometimes up to three hours, but she's been waking up a lot more than she normally does. And then she'll wake up in the mornings uh, like 7.30, 8 o'clock. And then within 45 minutes, she is like falling asleep again and she'll sleep for another like hour, hour and a half. Um, so her sleep is like all out of whack right now and I'm not even gonna try to mess with it until we get back home. Um, I'll try to get her back on a normal routine. I think it always kind of throws them off when you're traveling, but that's what's going on with me. I don't really have any plans for today other than tonight. I am meeting up with one of my closest friends and we're having a girls night, <sighs> much needed. Um, my mom will be putting Journey to bed, which no one has ever put Journey to bed besides me or Xavian. She normally nurses to sleep at night, so we're gonna see how that goes. I won't be that far away if I need to come back, but I obviously have pumped milk in a bottle for my mom to give her and I'll bring my little portable pump with me to like pump in the car on my way home but yeah I'm so excited we're going out to dinner and then we're gonna go um, get a couple drinks down the probably honestly probably one drink <laughs> because I can't handle more than that um, and I obviously need to drive home so I'll probably have a glass of wine and just enjoy one of my closest friends company so that will be nice uh, I don't know if I'll take the camera along for that because I'm not bringing my purse with me to dinner I'm bringing like a little clutch because I didn't even bring a purse I just brought like a little clutch in my diaper bag so but yeah I'll film a little bit of just me and the girls around my mom's house today and talk to you guys in a little bit journey actually just woke up Sweetie, let's open these curtains, get some light in here. Hey, baby, that was a good nap. Oh, you're so blurry. Here we go. That was a good nap. Hi. Hi, sunshine. I can't see your pretty face. There's my girl. There's my girl. Hi, honey. Are you hungry? Yeah, I bet you are. <laughs> are you all happy now? Yeah. You got a full tummy and you're a happy girl. Your eyes gonna pop out. <gasps> you big eye baby. Yeah. You big eye baby. You're my big girl. Yeah. For everybody that said she looked more like daddy than mommy. Say you're crazy. I'm my mommy's twin. Yeah. <laughs> but this one's daddy's twin, huh? Say hi, Brindley. <laughs> I 
that's all you guys get. These are a few things that I took from Gammy's house. Um, I have more back home. This was her Bible from when she was a teenager, and I know that because it's got her maiden name. Um, she married my pop-up when she was 19, I believe, so it would have had her married name, but look at this. Where is it? Look at what she used as a bookmark. Looks like a ticket to an event at the church that she went to. Look at that date, March 11th, 1954. Does anybody know where this church is? I would be very surprised if it was a church anymore. Hancock Baptist Church in Hancock, New York. Just curious. I know that she um, was raised Baptist, but then once she met my pop-up, I don't know if it was after she married him or before she converted to Catholic, and she was Catholic um, ever since then. But like I said, she's always been a very godly woman, and I feel very honored to have one of her first Bibles, maybe her, her very first Bible, I'm not sure, but I was flipping through it and she definitely has um, some notes written throughout, some things highlighted. So that's awesome. Janice Campbell, box number something, Deposit New York. That's where she's from, Deposit New York. I don't know what box number, I'm not sure what that means, but. And then this, um, so she actually journaled every single night um, for as long as I know. I know that she did it pretty much her and Pop-Pop's entire marriage. Look, this is completely full. This is from March 2018 to October 25th. Uh, I don't know if it's 2018 or 19. I think 2018 as well. Um, I actually got her this journal for Christmas if, like a few years ago, like four years ago, because I knew that she journals. And there are many many more journals um, completely filled out most of them are just the temperature of the day and what time she got up what time she went to bed like pretty just basic routine stuff but I still think it's cool that she kept all of those um, this was in her room her and pop-up actually did not have sorry the washing machine is so loud but this was in her room growing up her and my pop-up actually had separate bedrooms when they got older because he snored so loud and I can totally relate to that <laughs> as an adult. I always thought it was weird as a kid. And then this one was in my pop-up's room. I always used to play with it. They're both little music boxes. And then let me show you guys this shirt. I found this shirt and it says world's best gammy and me and my sisters and some of my cousins um, handprints. These are all my cousins that lived on the property with us. Jason, Jessica, TJ and Richard and then me, Heather and Jen. Those are my sisters. So I thought that was special. And for those of you asking, um, my cousin Jason, I shared in a recent vlog that he is missing. Unfortunately, he still is. So um, continuing to pray for my family would be very much appreciated. We don't have any update on him, unfortunately. Um, but yeah, I thought that this was special, something definitely worth holding on to. curious who's been on my channel or been following me since like I remember I used to do like car vlogs all the time where I just talked to you guys in the car I think that's when I um, was just doing TTC videos a lot so before I ever got pregnant with Brindley who's been around since then let me know in the comments I was just thinking about that I can't believe it's already been like three and a half years since I've had my channel um, I'm just running to Walmart right now because I am going to run out of diapers for Journey before we leave here and I also am going to run out of wipes so I need diapers and wipes. Got to run to Walmart for that. Got Brinley and Journey in the back obviously. You can probably hear Journey's uh, sound machine 
because she is wide awake right now, but I'm trying to get her to fall back asleep. Apparently my aunt and uncle said they've been doing pretty good um, with the like estate sale out of my grandparents' house, so. Are you talking back there? I hear you, Journey. Hi, baby. Hi. I don't think you guys can see her in her mirror, but she's so happy. Yeah, it's a nice change. She usually hates the car. <laughs> what you eating, Brindley? Veggie straws? Yeah. You guys, look how sunny and beautiful it is over here. Look at this. Will it turn? Ugh. Will it turn? I don't know if you can see that sky. It's the third day in a row I'm gonna get stuck in the rain when I leave my mom's house. It is comical to me that Florida is called the Sunshine State because every freaking day in the summer, it rains. Elephant. You like elephant? Let me see. Show me, show mommy. Where's another block? What other letters do you see? You like elephant? You like elephant? You like elephant? You like elephant? Can you see a W? w. I see it, it's green. Can you find the W? Let me see. What's that one? That's a two. What are you talking about down here? What are you talking about down here? You trying to roll over? You trying so hard. Oh yeah, that was a short nap. You took in Walmart. It was. Did mommy rock you? Or are you hungry? Oh. Hey. Come on. Come on. You can do it. You can do it. Uh. Are you hungry, girl? Yeah. Look at these thighs. Look at these chunky legs. Careful, 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 careful. Brandy, Brandy, Brandy. Okay, don't mind the mirror that's like from the 40s, literally, but mom still got it. And I'm wearing a maternity tank top <laughs> and slippers. Don't worry, I won't wear those out. But I mean, let's just let's give the booty a little bit of credit. It's not as nice and round as it used to be, but feeling pretty good about myself right now. Not in leggings, so let's get this girl's night started and pray for my anxiety while I leave my three-month-old for the first time for bedtime. So I'm on my way to go be my friend right now and you guys, my family just got the best news and I can say it because by the time this video comes out, all of my family will know. I want to scream it on social media right now, but I'm trying to wait until my uncle can tell everyone. Um, my cousin is fine. Oh, it feels so good to say that. My cousin Jason has been missing for like a month and a half or we thought he was missing um, I'm not gonna go into detail for his privacy um, but he's fine he just needed to get away for a little bit and he did that and um, yeah I'm so relieved it was not we were really starting to think the worst and it's just such a blessing that he is okay I'm so happy for my aunt and uncle I can't imagine how hard this has been for them um, with him being I've not heard from for this long but thank you guys so much for your prayers if you've been praying for my family a lot of you have been asking me on Instagram for any updates um, if you follow me on Instagram I'm sure I will have said on there by now by the time you're seeing this that he's been found so or that he finally picked up the phone and called his dad <laughs> so, so yeah oh yeah but Usher just came on if this don't put you in girls' night mood, I don't know what does. <laughs>